Cowboys. Oh, yeah, the EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. On to get it started now, the kicker Chris Boswell, and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And not much happening on the return as he'll give this to about the 23. Play one and Prescott to the ear. a tremendous play there defensively on this opening drive, not just to make the interception, but to take it all the way home. And it felt like this was a defense that was on its heels a bit to start this thing off. Yeah, they pretty much let the other guys march right down the field. They made a good defensive change. A, a, a twist for His, his mic keeps flickering like he's talking. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better. Was that supposed to be a curl route and then he improvised, or do you think it was designed like that? I think it was designed because one thing <coughs> the Redskins do is being crossed up on routes. They don't like too much improvisation, so most of the time when you Down score, it. Go. So the Steelers take him down. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. His early struggles continue. Here's another interception. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. 
Fitzpatrick and the return across midfield and to the 46 yard line. And not the first I suck. I suck. For now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. <laughs> they go on and usually play a pretty decent game. They have a hard time getting past it. They don't have to put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Back to throw, pick it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Nothing doing on second and third down after that third game on first. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Field goal would have been a decent length of 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. Gets it out quickly here to the left flank. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. What, Taylor? What are you doing, dude? Oh, my God. Ah. I like that. No one is just taking me for a mm. But thank you, Dr. Davis. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Off the play fake, Prescott. Flush to his right. Get him. Uh -oh. And Prescott, his third interception. Down the right sideline. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense in a close ball game. I think that's he was real to the play. They're getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly no. pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find someone open. You're exactly right. He wasn't looking to run. He was looking to throw. The result, not good for him. They were more than happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. Extra point put through by Boswell. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Yo. I know I'd be investigating. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Yeah, let's stay empty now. The so Dallas good. offense here set to begin the drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. It seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. What a uh, should not have been caught. I really said to come to the outside. It's man covered. Excellent play there on third down. Yeah, Give him 25 yards. Out. I knew he was doing that route. Right. Right. Finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And again, it's Prescott. That's yeah. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Chandler Sullivan. And the Steelers are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shot. 
Yeah, he's bad. You need to get out of here, dude. He's bad. He's bad. He doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, he's he's not good enough on offense at all to compete against me. No way. Oh, I thought it was going to be a challenge since it was the Cowboys, but no, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Uh, same, is this the same guy? It is the same guy. God. Sorry, dude. It's just concede when you start when it starts concede early. brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, boy, what a matchup. Really? Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition getting <laughs> set to do battle here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Throwing it back, making cry. <laughs> Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. offense off to a strong start this afternoon yeah with a big run and a first down that's putting what you practice into play that's excellent execution to get things started yeah. I wonder if it was like boulder thing there kind of yeah pick it to throw on first down Last play by Pickett, sliding to avoid the hit. He also has the first down. That was a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress down the field, keeping the lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls, or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Pickett slow to the hands of Pickett. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play call right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, 32 yards. And the Steelers will jump on top with the game's <laughs> first score here this afternoon. Uh, Chris Boswell now for the extra point. <laughs> it's open seas. And he'll put it through to make it 7 0 Steelers. Oh shit. Oh my Boswell God. now to bounce. kick it away oh, after the man. touchdown. I forgot to press the button again. Right I was like, falling asleep. It was so easy. Now maybe this guy. opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. <laughs> yeah, I literally just like. I, I forgot to press the button like the second time. I hit the power and then I just like stopped. I was like, oh shit. I yeah. 
Yeah, I just wanted to make him feel like he has hope. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and ten at the 41 yard line. Better not be a screen. Better not be a screen, bud. He'll no, look to not. throw. Yeah. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. Picked off by Chandon Sullivan. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25 yard line. First and ten, it's Pickett. Flushed out right. And he whips that one incomplete there. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Harris is into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there oh. in a goal line type situation. <laughs> right back where we were in the last game. The 20s, he gonna quit? Not down here or when you're guarding he your want more punishment? Well, good with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Yeah. He hasn't scored a single point on me. Two games. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Oh. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, make it through the quarter this time. There's another pick on this one. It's over. It's because he's. I, I, yeah, I was going to say, it's because he doesn't run. He's like fucking just. It's making it easy for me. And now he's going to run because I. Try running on this one. About set for this next drive oh, by the no, Cowboys not. offense. <laughs> Charles, no, he's it's not kind running. of gut check time. Look, I know it's again. early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the oh, score. You're oh. down double digits. Oh, they yeah. gotta figure out something oh, pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need it to happen now. Oh, it's a shitty ass throw inside. Throwing again on second down. down, but this time it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Hey, hey, kill, 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 kill. Prescott on third and two. Oh. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Two go 47. They go kill, kill. The Cowboys will go. Prescott. Yep. Ah, uh, he's smart. He actually did something smart. Wow. He actually did something smart. Okay. 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 So he thinks he's figured it out. It's okay. No, he didn't. 
thinks he did. He thinks he did, though. Going up top. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. We're going to 54 wide. A second down throw for Prescott. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. On third down, it's Prescott. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. He quit. He fucking smashed his fucking console Charles, it is across his face. see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. It Yeah, I'm not gonna get matched up with him a third time because he actually for sure shut off his game right there. That's why that's why it canceled it out like that. Finally get a worthy opponent, maybe. Thank God, he had to be so mad. Yeah. He thought he was good. He's like he's like, Oh, I'm figuring it out. I am finding holes and then I'm like, I'll adjust my defense and then fuck him again. Oh god, now I'm against the Niners. Oh god. That's literally like the hardest team. It's so, it's so strong. God. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley. At Quarterback's pretty good too. I think Purdy's pretty solid. I don't think he's that bad. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Sean, Sean's starting off with 37 points in, against me this week. Because he has he has Pollard, he has Pollard, and he has Ferguson, the tight end and the running back, which always and they both did pretty solid. But Austin, let's go, baby. Start off, start off the bang, Austin, let's go. Oh God, that guy just got a free lane all the way through. Yeah, all the time. You tell me. Stupid, you stupid little fucker. Yeah, one time. I've never, yeah, only once, ever. Yeah, I got this so so fast. This. Stacking that box, I was like, I think I, I, I don't think he'll expect two runs in a row though. I think he's gonna think that I'm gonna throw now. That's what common sense would say. They'll run again with Harris. Don't know. Oh, his first throw of the game going to be intercepted. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line. He's a shitty pass. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not Harbinger. 
things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon. I was a pretty that way deeper. I was literally pulling down the stick to make him throw it like low. Or can he fucking throw it high? And stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to try it out. It sucks. Whatever. Otherwise, it's just one. Let's see. Try to figure out some on defense. Get him what? Oh, Joe. So. That's a good first play. And he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. TJ Watt, always a disruptor, there to blow that play up. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Things could no longer go back to the way they Purdy now on second down. Taking a shot for Samuel. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Chandler Sullivan. And the Steelers are going to take possession here at their own 33. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one. And maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. Boom. And don't you think the offense is really catching the bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? And this guy thought, he's like, I have such good defense. Well, I need to. Welcome. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Nope. Not gonna back down. He's gonna get some fucking Niners at their field. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Remember last time out they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up, so it's still 0 0 here as they begin their oh, second possession. Yeah, one great way to judge a defense. How do they handle what we call sudden change? When all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try to put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. All right. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Pick it back to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, that was his first target of the game, but it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. But he's able to get this to the 40 yard line before he's out of bounds. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Off play action. Pick it. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is caught. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Deontay Johnson. 40 yards, and the Steelers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that makes the score 7 0. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. So maybe he's waiting for an answer. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Peterson. 
Jesus Christ. Wow. First down. Get him eight events. Smart. It's already shown that he can't throw on me, so might as well have run every fucking play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. Oh, dude, he can't throw on me, so he probably should have stick to running, bud. All right. Pick six to the ledger now. Three score lead still in the first half. 
and all that celebrating that you see and hear from those defenders is not just because they scored a touchdown on a pick six. It's because they're pitching a shutout in this one. Every defender's dream. Uh, Got to get at least one pick six every single game. So far, I have. Here's McLeod from his end zone. Absolutely fucking destroying everybody. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone yep, right here. Sit down, baby. Go what? And I know we're in the first half, but oh, the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get Let's something going here. on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse if this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few Oh, fumble. Let's go. My ball. Or no. What? He recovered it? How the fuck did Kittle grab that? What? So lucky. God damn it. How does Wallace not get that? Does Kittle got it somehow? Jesus. That was a lucky break. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. How did I miss him? How did I miss him? Nice the there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It's a pickup of six, but it's not going to be enough. And the punt team's going to be summoned on fourth down. Go for it, dude. Go for it. Go for it, bud. Go for it. Oh, what a play. What the fuck? A pitch? What the fuck is this? This guy's running like he's playing with Lamar Jackson. He's playing with fucking Purdy. He's doing everything he can to find a play that works now. Run? Oh, oh yeah, wow, really easy run. Fuck. That's all he can do is run. I should know. I should know. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get this in the enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. There on the tackle, Mika Fitzpatrick. Now second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold it just a yard. And great blocking oh. field as he's got this almost to the third. Gaffer might even fumble at some point if he keeps running. He's on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now Samuel. Hold on, Kiba. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired. He literally will not throw the ball now. Long time, and that last run, they just cut right through him. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Now San Francisco going to call their second time out. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. <clears throat> 49ers with their first trip to the red zone thus far. If I stop him, if I get a pick or anything before half, like he's in a quit for sure. Oh. Throws the out loud and completes it to Sammy. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. So now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 30 seconds to go in the first half. These two positions were. One, This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now Purdy. Pick that. Thank you. Go oh, High Smith. Let's go, baby. Run, High Smith. Run. It's a foot race. 
Boom. Oh. GG's, dude. You tried. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Or whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, it's going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal, and you throw the pitch, not good at all. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any so, throwing lanes. So, how many three games now, and nobody's and scored a single point on me? Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line. It should be recalled that Wu Ijilin even agreed to support by Zeman in his ideal of setting up an. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. Back to throw. Pick it. Oh, God, that was scary. He left side and he's got a man. That's where he's losing. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now, Third and two. To think that a normal person like me would ever have the opportunity to hold the hand of the daughter of the president of the world. Looking to throw. Pick it. He jumped as he unconsciously bumped for some piece of Work in the she middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. I have the other two more, so you do the key for the quarterback. Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Five yards on the carry. Good pick up on first down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. What? How do you call time? Oh. Clearly there was contact. Who was at fault? So it was the defense that jumped, and that'll move them five yards closer. Wonder how they did it. What they twitched a little bit up. Okay, you fucking faggot, dude. This guy gave up. Give him a fuck, crybaby. Five yards closer for their field goal attempt. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit. Yep, get out of here, faggot. Ah, God, making everybody fucking cry. I'm such a bully. <laughs> this is today. 14 to 0, 20 to 0, 21 to 0. And that's against. Cowboys, Cowboys, 49ers. Like, what? Jesus, I played the Cowboys five times in a row before uh, before the Niners. Five games in a row, I won all five of them. Because I'm using Fitz again, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to use her lot on the line. And when I use Fitz over the middle, it fucks people hard. Oh, now the Chiefs. Ooh, this one'll be. God, I shut up. If I shut up a cheese from scoring, that's fucking crazy. Fucking Mahomes, he can fucking he throws like lasers. Ugh. Top rated quarterback in the game. The NFL on EA Sports.
Jets, and we are in the Steel City at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. But tonight, we've got at a good home. AFC at matchup home. on tap, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's go, Austin. Let's get started up right, Austin. Come on. Harrison Butker ready to get this one started. And we are underway Let's go, Austin. from Let's go. Pittsburgh. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. Let's go, Austin. Let's go. Ooh, and they'll close. get him down right around the 25, close, actually close, the 26 close. officially. So a net gain of one there. scrimmage left him no space to try and run a really nice job swarming to the ball carrier throw left side hold in by Pickens a gain of eight there on the play and that will bring up third and one and I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this they want him to get the ball and run after the catch good job there though holding him for a short gain on third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you Damn it. Uh, Harris. And down he goes. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody right. really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Forced out to his left. Now he's loose, got him off sideline. He's going to go out of bounds. Corner rush, 37 yards. Michael Big. On third down, he obviously wants to throw the football, but there's nowhere to go with it, so he takes off and goes. And now as he gets to the first down marker, he blows right past it and picks up big yardage. Partner, that's a great bit of improvisation. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They hand this off to Harris. Now they'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and seven. Off the play fake. Here's Pickett. Buying time to his left. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Well, I don't want to be a jinx partner and put the whammy on him, but I think we could be looking at all-time day on the ground with the way that he's going. Only a few quarterbacks in this league are capable of a 100-yard game, and he's halfway there just in the first quarter. This is a record-setting pace. Hopefully, he can keep it up, and we can have fun watching it. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now Pickett will look to pass it. Sliding out of the pocket. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. 
Kudos for the defense for me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. They'll try to run with Harris. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Here we go. It's Pickett on fourth down. Good pass. Not a good pass. For a Steelers touchdown. Najee Harris, a two-yard touchdown ground. And the Steelers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball. well on now to kick this one away and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25 yard line they'll come out throwing here to start the drive well, this one complete, it's Rasheed Rice. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. First and ten, here's Off. Pacheco. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on Pacheco schedule, staying ahead good. of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and three. They go play fake. Mahomes. Sorry, bitch. Hey, you get into that, didn't I? Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to take possession as they got it at the 42-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, Maybe the oh, he's tipped, upset. Oh, he's too fucking crying. I know, I know, and dude. It's hard. It's hard to believe the fits that the good, but he is. Here about ready for their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. A little bit of space there for the first down run, as that's going to get him about five yards. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Johnson's got it complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Pickett. Polluting the pressure right. 
And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. I thought at first he'd try to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now pick it. Fuck, what a fucking play. I didn't think he was fucking running it like that. Oh, he's, uh, he's in the zone. That was a fucking really good play right here. Yard yard line. Line. So this up with the yeah, fuck that guy. Maybe that's something oh, really that can bring a little life to that oh. sideline. But I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true. Oh, but you're what right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys. Really, on either side of the ball. Ah, what a play. What a play. To get them back into this game. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna fucking, uh, fucking do it all day, every day. Quit throwing towards me. I'm gonna learn. Bow down. I'm gonna hit ass for this. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because... These offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Down he goes at the 20. I was a second and six. What? I got there's no way that I didn't get more than that. Two minutes oh, they got like six yards. Instead, I got four. What? Hard to believe. From the 23, here's Hard to second believe. and Whatever. six. Here's Pickett. Escaping the pressure right. There's ah, God, Pickett is so zone. off. And that's going to be wide open, too. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone. With a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that. Ah, dude, what are these throws, Pickett? I'm not throwing anywhere near the receiver. Come on, dude. Because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. Uh, that's one that you're going to little two touchdown passes in a row. I think it just we didn't come even close to completing the pass. Oh, well. Fuck it. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. Still shutting out this guy too. This is gonna be returned from the middle of the end zone. Crazy. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the nice. interception. Nice, on nice the play, dude. Turn the clock. Turn the clock before, before halftime. Man, they're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing oh. so. Understand where you are. It's such an awful place to take room. I really fucking took that. That's it. Receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. Uh, another guy that can't do anything against my defense. So the failure to connect on second down that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Mahomes. What? Oh, come on. 
occasion. Fucking play that like ass, dude. That the thing, man. Ah, that's stupid. I shouldn't have picked. Played perfectly. It's just... All the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Fuck. Now here's Mahomes. He's gonna let it go again. Dude, what are you doing? What is that, Casey? Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is, but that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is gonna slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. And again, it's Mahomes. Dude, what are we doing? Peterson, I said to cover the inside and I highlighted Kelsey. I literally said to cover the inside and I highlighted Kelsey. What are we doing right now? Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Flush to his right. Thank you. There we go. Look up for it. There we go. There we go. Oh, shit. There we go. Good job, Peterson. There we go. That time he listened. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. Oh, he quit too. Jesus. Four shots, four shutouts in a row. I just got quit. I think. Let's see, this man. Maybe not. And come out a new guy in half number two. It's brought in by Harris, and he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. He's going to fire one. God damn it, Pickett. God, what are these throws? Jesus Christ, dude. Have you ever thrown a ball, Pickett? Like, do you know how to throw a pass? God, dude. Second and ten. Uh. Pick it back to throw. Don't let. No way, dude. That's so. That's so trash. Fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it. That's stupid. He was able to get to that. God, pick it. You're fucking throwing trash ass balls left and right. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game. And it's something you did not need to God. do. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Good job, Bob. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout. If they hurt I'm missing a heavy blitz. I don't think he'll accept it. I'm sending a fucking heavy ass blitz right here. He's gonna think that he has all time in the world to fucking do his shit. I'm gonna fucking send a fuck, send the whole fucking team. See if he can handle the pressure. Second and nine. Get him. Ah, uh, 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 he's gonna get fucking points. Fuck! It's a set out because I fucking feel a stupid play. No way he's not taking a field goal. Second field goal for sure. I can ice him, but he's still gonna. He'll get it. Wow, he's not taking a field goal. Okay. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Interesting. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. That's laid out deep for Rice. Thank you. And it's not Thank you. Thank you. Set out. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break.
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. 10-0 is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. <laughs> yeah, that is Ben Fitz. Yeah, that is Ben on Fitz and nothing really good luck. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next screen, drive. Screen. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense nope. made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything yeah. going offensively. Nice. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them. Oh, no, I game. took a bad angle. I knew it too. I highlighted him and everything. I knew it was going to be a little bit of 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 and we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. Mahomes to throw once more. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made it, <laughs> that his pass is intercepted for uh, the time today. Oh man, he is good, he is, he tried. No, he didn't score on us. Yeah. And that has to be a little bit discouraging because after all their halftime talk, adjustments and points of emphasis, their first drive ends with an interception. Absolutely aggravating if you're a head coach because you spent all that time, gone through every situation possible, and it still ends in a turnover. Seven yards on the pick up there and it'll leave him with a second and three. Running lanes read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's second and three. Pick it a look to throw it here. Finds Pickens out right. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drive. And that route takes some fortitude from the count running it because he knows he's going through the briar patches. I like the pile, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw into the hands of Pickens. So just three yards on the completion there. And it brings up third and five now. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They'll come up facing third and five. Back to throw, pick it. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, my God. He certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now following the turnover. Yeah, you're right about that because now the nerves are so many fucking wide open receivers. Fumble the first time you get touched. to get back into the game. What you'd rather do? Put up signs. Roads closed. I need better, Pickett. I need better. I need better, dude. Yeah, it's about just... set to begin this drive. I need better, dude. Defense has done the job. Better. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Get him what? And that is not fooling anyone. Yeah, uh, it's not the right play call, bro. Not the right play call. Right away. 
I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works yep, better it is. against certain defenses. And this clearly <laughs> yeah, you better throw that away. I was pick six in that. Nice I'm ready for that, little boy. You got, you got to be better than that, too. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts Defense in this too good. That is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. JPJ. Here's a fifth interception. Picked up by Joey Porter. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16 yard line. I think you uh, were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback oh, of this caliber I don't know what. I, don't, I, I ate my Wheaties there or something. Stunning to me because What's going on? We're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience four games in a row, less talent. Like a shutout. Four a games quarterback in a row. of his caliber? Against high-powered teams? Just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. Eluding the pressure right. Fuck. I can't throw the ball right because he came from behind me and hit me. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable right, Johnson, second and 13. Looking to throw, pick it. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't get the ball off. Oh, he takes a shot on the wide this open. Will be incomplete. Can get that pass the pressure off. really Come ratcheting on. up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. Damn. It's a perfect call. He's wide open. I just couldn't get the ball off. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. He gets it complete to Harris. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield. They field goal, baby. They field goal. We do it all day, every day. Come on. to the football and knocked him down to force him. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Oh, the boss is throwing it? Why is it not too busy throwing that? I didn't know Boss was going to be throwing the ball. I mean, it was close. Fuck. I didn't realize Boss was throwing that. That was stupid. Damn. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores Oof, down. So almost another pick. Almost another one. Close. The team can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Okay. Good, 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 good. It's okay. Yeah. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game. Oh, yeah. I know what this is. This is the one to fucking Kelsey again over the middle. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Nice, nice play, dude. God. Nice guy. Uh, dude, is just so fucking good today. He's got to have this one. Flush to his <laughs> Safety He's not going to get uh, sucks suck, bro. Sucks to suck. God, safety a lot. With the two points there, but let's just mm. say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely oh. not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. 
And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Johnson to return it. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Turnover that just got them the football back, obviously a big one, because had they been able to score on the other side, this would have been a one-possession game. So you don't sense full relief here, then? No, I don't think, especially with the ball this deep in their own territory, because you make a mistake, they've got it right back in prime position. They certainly do, so now, almost like, you know, almost like a four-minute offense, right? Take care of this bad boy. Make sure the other team doesn't touch it. Move it with Didn't consistent gains. We're down the clock. I'm, I'm on one today. I'm on it. Second down and eight. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. Willie Johnson. Can't catch that. Really. Can't catch that. Willie Johnson. All right. All right. All right. It's all right. It's all right. We don't want it. We don't want it. Johnson. We don't want it. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Fuck. God damn it. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Oh, just inside the 10 back at the 9. That's a point. Willie Gay getting in there and picking my, up the sack. Think about my shutout streak. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. Johnson, if you would have caught that last ball. Jesus and Christ. Backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And if I had time to throw right there, I would have just like got right through. Now. Right through. As his first punt will come from inside his own end come zone. Come on, Arvin. Good punt, please. Don't let him run it back, guys. Don't let him run it back. On the return, it's Tony. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. All right. He only has to get like half field. Score. Will he do it? Will he stop my shutout streak? That is the question. Oh. My prediction is he won't. My prediction is a pick six. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game. Ah, that, was a, that was a really good throw by fucking Mahomes. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's a pick. Thank you. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Ah, no pick six. Damn it, I was wrong. Darn it. This is taken up past the 30. I'll settle for a pick. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line. Let's go. Pickett leads his Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at the 31 yard line. Harris will start to drive out. Lord have mercy. They'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, uh, and it's second and four. I'm just a bully. I'm a bully today. This poor guy. I'm making every single person I play want to uninstall the game. Covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and five. Pick it. Setting up the screen, Harris. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this I think I'm just going to put the game on ice because I, I want so my streak to continue. As we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt Shout away out. these final Four in a row. minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to try to run it, run the clock out. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, yep. somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that one. Games for sure. So second and Basically nine, the and you have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Another run on second down. Trying to cover up, and he'll take it across the 50 and into the chief ball. territory. 45 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Pick it on third and one. These guys running back out of the backfield. There's the steal. Oh, and get this down. to the 30 yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Get some 15 yards. So first and 10 now from the 30. Harris running straight ahead. <laughs> and he'll take this ahead for about four. There. Second down coming up. Uh, when you find that kind uh, of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator. He's like accepting defeat, I guess. He's not even using his timeouts. This game's over. <sighs> Maybe. He's the high powered offensive chiefs and. Uh, Goose egg. If nothing <laughs> else, they've already egg. taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern day NFL defensive tackle. GG's. He lacks in size. He definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. GG's. I could take a field goal and pat the stats. I'm not even going to do that. Not even going to do that. to throw it across the middle to the guy that I was covering but I took it away with fits and so what oh safety baby let's go oh, my homes is so upset Ooh. oh might as well see if I can get five in a row five shutouts in a row Could it be done? Is it possible? Jaguars. Jaguars. 
Uh, Jaguars are actually a pretty good team too, especially offensively. City at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. A kicker, Chris Boswell, has it yeah, ready four to go. is insane. Is insane, but. Well, it's even more insane. It's five. That's what I'm going to be going for. That's what I'm going to be going for. Yep. Oh, I knew he was doing that, too. I pressed the defense and highlighted him, the receiver. I knew he was doing that. I was hoping... Uh, Peterson would jump that. Could have been a pick six. I knew he was going to fucking do that. I knew it was an option for it. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, that's... God damn it. Oh, God. He's going to be one of these... He's one of these players that just fucking does the... Option play over and over. This might be difficult if he just keeps doing that. Yeah, he's literally just... It shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with an idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Oh, God. I'm going to figure something out. This guy's fucking. Actually, I think I already. So back to back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They did get the memo. Oh, they got fucking picked up somehow. To this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line. I might have to fucking. I might have to use the fucking. If you're these receivers, you gotta be ready because when he's gonna throw it quick on that RPO, he's gonna throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the off season, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both All right, like using the fucking cornerback and then I might have to. This guy's just gonna keep doing this all the way down the fucking field. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive: establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. Yeah. It's a big man's okay. game, but it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage. Now, already people back. Just gonna get at least a little brother. Fuck. Well, if that's success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes him susceptible to play action passes as well. That's cool. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Still going to get a fucking field goal, though. Fuck. This is it. This is it. Still going to get a field goal. At least. Fuck. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Nope. Oh, Not with me here, again. motherfucker. Let's go. into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pick up on first down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Harris going to get it again on second down, and he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. 
They're still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Some of the most unselfish players so. on any football team. Pretty unlikely that I'm gonna fucking shut this guy out. I can, just based off his first drive, I feel like he's pretty fucking good on offense. So. That's a big day. Yeah, how do you like it? How do you like it, huh? Good, oh, come on, Johnson, you pussy fuck. Come on, you couldn't fucking get through that guy. And that means fourth down. We're scoreless after one. The offense here oh, not budging. They're going to fight for this, it on fourth and inches. They'll try and run for it. Good job. Let's go. And he's got the first before Good block. 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 Good He's got this to Pickens, and he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and Dude, come try. on, guys. What are we doing? Nobody blocks the fucking edge. Like, what? Behind the line of scrimmage. And that tackle by Trayvon Walker. Nice play. He blows that up behind the line of scrimmage. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. Pickett going to bootleg it. On the move to his left. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. So in this case, you think the defense would be collapsing to the left side of the field, and they forced him to his left, so he just tucked it away and picked up some yardage. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Warren. Oh my god, dude, really? Fuck that. Let's go. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Pick it back to throw. Bitch, fuck you. Let's go. Finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown Steelers. A one yard touchdown pass. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Yeah, this guy's a good player. His name even has Jags in it, so obviously he fucking uses the Jags all the time. He fucking knows how to use the Jags. Shut this guy out, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy if I shut this guy out. Back here, fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. No, so no, no, no. That's bad. Score as they start first Fuck. and ten. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. It's five rushes, 66 yards. Etienne is so fucking good. 66 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On first down, right back to Etienne. What? And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Not, uh, that was an excellent uh, run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends. Just keeps doing the same shit too. That's what's fucking really annoying. 
Texas that when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Lawrence on target there to Woodley. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two minute warning. First and ten. Dude, it's a oh team. my god. Fuck. Oh. I have to figure something else yards. out. This isn't working. Another nice gain. 16 yards there easy. and a first down again. This. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Go again with ETN. Let's go. Good job, That's better. Let's go. Good tackle. Good tackle, JBJ. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Get him. Good job, Hayward. Let's go. Bitch. This is like a fucking field here. He's gonna have to get it over here. There's no fucking way he's not. Unless I can pick this. Craziest pick of my life. Fucker, dude. Fuck. Here it is. It's over. God. Couldn't do it. Motherfucker. Of course you're taking a field goal. So Lawrence will exit and on comes Brandon McManus for the Jaguar field goal. The kick by McManus is good. <sighs> On the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Or maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half. Damn it. This offense that hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least have something to quote unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. Run it back, Austin. Run it back, Austin. Run it back, Austin. Run it fucking back, Austin. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, bitch. Oh, and then he quits. God, I was that close. I was that fucking close to a shutout again. God damn it. Oh. Uh. Uh, five games in a row, three points total for the opponent. God damn, you little fucking faggot. Of course he fucking kicks a field goal, little bitch. Of course. This is the NFL on EA Sports. He's mad that I ran that kickoff back. It was a nice, nice return, too. I fucking leave perfectly up the middle. Taking on the New York Jets. Let's do it again, Austin. Let's do it again. Right up the middle, baby. Right up the gut. Hit him through the gut. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. Ah! If 87 blocked better out there, I was gone again. Fuck. Damn. It's almost gone again. Pickett sets up play action. Ah, I couldn't throw the ball. He's throwing it. He's taken down. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. 
Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd God, into fucking it. Hayward and shit, man. Right fucking right can't block for shit. A first carry for Najee Harris. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. That's that's on. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Give my last one for the night. Oh, and and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. What the fuck? Right. Third down okay. third, but it misses the target incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're going for it. I'm confident. Well done. I'm confident in my defense. This guy's shit talking right now. Probably. Can't hear him, but I'm sure he probably is being a Jets fan. Jets so fan, I imagine he's shit talking because. Go That's what I imagine. They're going for this. Pick it. God damn it, dude. The guy just fucking went. Did you see that shit? Where the fuck? Do I have a fucking line at all? Where the fuck is our offensive line, dude? They're in right through the middle. No fucking. Nobody even slowed him down. Fucking right through. Easy as fuck. Yeah, he's got Aaron Rodgers on too. Fuck. On first and ten, it's home. Fucking bitch. Sit the fuck down, you little fucking faggot. After a gain of three. Give credit so to the defense fuck you up. I don't give a fuck. Play out, and they gave up no cutback gang. Fuck you, gay ass Aaron Rodgers. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. I don't even know what a good defense is yet. We're about to find out, though. We're about to find out. Oh, you're so lucky. You're so fucking lucky. That should have been six. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football. Gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. A screen, huh? What? What? You fucking lucky cocksucky motherfucker, dude. Oh, you're so lucky, you little fucking dick Oh my god. What the fuck? When guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them in a screen pass is a great way of doing it. JPJ says no. The fuck down. They want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Just looking at from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, God damn it. I can't believe it's got that fucking screen. You got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone and in this case he had the play they just didn't complete it don't let that be caught oh my god KZ what are you doing dude you're literally all over him god damn it you let that be caught at least knock it fucking down what the fuck if, if not pick it God damn it, what a fucking lucky fucking bitch sucking piece of shit, dude. Should have been a pick six with Fitz when he fucking threw the screen. What a lucky little faggot. Guaranteed shit talking to. What a fucking little gay fuck. Little faggot fuck. I'm gonna win this game. I don't give a fuck. You got lucky as fuck, dude. Lucky as fuck. He threw like three picks on that. Somehow none of them were picked off. Shit, man. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. Oh, God damn it. What the fuck, Hayward? God, you're such a shit-ass blocker, dude. Fucking, like, pushed him right to where I was running. Where I was designed to run. 
understand if you fail, Fuck. the mobile onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Here's Pickett on second down. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Flushed out right. Oh my. This is pick it. Are you? Oh. God damn it. God. It would have been a huge fucking blow. On second down, this is Harris. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly. God, it would have been a huge play pick it. I need to fuck that up. That second down play call was Damn it. It was to accomplish what they did to get into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Pickens on the slant, and that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They hand this off to Harris. It's fucking good. Fuck out of here. Side. It's a foot race. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee I'm going to win this fucking game. I'm the fucking dog shit, kid. And the Steelers are the fucking dog shit. We shouldn't even have a touchdown right now. Boswell good with the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Go on, loser. Uh, Send it around. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. It's a little read option, isn't it? Giving up oh, six oh, the last time on the field. Oh, what the and fuck? Frankly, it's just a of okay. Okay, Hall. Okay, Bruce Hall. Specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. Rogers gonna throw. How is it? Jesus he Christ. Wilson. Oh, nice move. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Just shy of the twenty. Another big gainer, two in succession. Is this okay. Well, I know that formation now. I know what play you call out of that. Don't worry. I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm figuring you out. Looking at each other, trying to figure out who is going to put the clamps on this guy because right now. He's absolutely shredding them. On play action, it's Rogers. What? This is Where the fuck's the defense at? Why am I the only one covering fucking three people when I said to cover the middle of the field? What the fuck? I don't know. Who the fuck is that? Brownlee? What the fuck is that? That one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran ah, why why was nobody covering like what the fuck 
right here on game I don't understand what happened on that. Arose. I don't understand why I was the only person in the middle of the field covering. And that makes the score 14 to 7. I literally pressed and said to cover middle. There should have been like fucking three defenders in that area. Instead, there's absolutely nobody except for me. Oh, I don't know. Now that was the weird. touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. All right. All right. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17 yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and ten. Eluding the pressure right. Dude, got come open on. Man, it's, Pickens. it's not They'll how I wanted that to be done. I wanted fucking Najee to block for him. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Harris. Good. Fights forward for only about That's a, a clusterfuck. Can get through there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, That's, about the free safety. I didn't take the right play. Enough this is not the play I meant to pick. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. God damn it, dude. Pick it on fucking down. play. Fucks me in the ass. God damn it. That wasn't the play that I meant to pick. It's a loss of six. A good scheme. And an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression. Uh, and ended that play early. Actually, hit X when I meant to hit A on oh, picking the play. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. And they are going for it. Here's Pickett escaping the pressure right. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Oh, of course. The thing they are lacking in is confidence. They took a big and maybe unnecessary risk going for that fourth down. He put them on his shoulders, though, and paid off the big-time gamble. Pickett connecting with Fryermuth. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Now a give, running left is Harris. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Early down steps to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Pickett looking to throw on second down. That's complete to his tight end fire move. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 25 yard line. They run with Harris, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Try him with Pickett here on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris. 
as the first half is winding down. And the Steelers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Extra point put through by Boston. Uh, that is going to tie fight. our game as we approach halftime. It's a fight. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. Oh, wh what are we doing? Oh, my God. Peterson? Are you serious, dude? I even highlighted him. I highlighted Wilson. Peterson just fucking shits a brick. Good job, dude. God damn. Damn it. Just a fucking retarded. Offense, Charles. Three drives, three God, Peterson, what a fail. You like shit bag. God damn it. No, I think you can do it here in football. Oh, God. That is fucking painful. Yeah, I think you're right about that. That was fucking really painful, Peterson. What a fucking show for show. You fucking loser. God damn it. Oh, that was fucking horrible. Quarter defense. Manned up. Two over the top. There's no safety help, apparently. Highlighted. Highlighted the receiver he threw it to. Goes white right through. Oh, nice. Yeah, shove, and then Peterson shoves him right into where I'm running. Nice. So, yeah, God fucking damn it, dude. Damn it. Oh, that really sucks, dude. That really, 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 really sucks. It's a really, really fucking bad time to fail like that, Peterson. Really fucking bad time to fail like that. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So two quarters down, two remain. Really bad time to fail like that, Peterson. Really bad time. Fuck. God. Give you back now. Through. Davis, I gotta go for an onside. I have to. I have to go for an onside. He said that he picked, but apparently he didn't pick the play, huh? Apparently he didn't pick the play, but it said he did. Nice. He said he picked a play, even though apparently he didn't. And he was waiting for me to start the second half with the onside kick risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? Now get and it's intercepted Thank at the goal you. line. Picked off by Joey Porter Jr. And the Steelers are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach. Yeah, that's easy to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. What? Oh, what? That's a P.I. and a half. He fucking stopped Johnson. Oh, my fucking God. He literally, look at it. He shoves Johnson. He's using him, too. He knows it, you little dick sucking faggot. He fucking knows. He knows that was absolute bullshit. Oh my fucking god, dude. What a fucking joke. What a fucking joke. Bumble, he fucking keeps it though. 
Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm, I'm furious about that. Clear as day pass interference. Not called. And he's using the fucking dude. What a fucking gay fucking load of shit, dude. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Fucking gay little now fucking piece of fake. shit, dude. Rogers. Dude, oh my god, nice. Nice job, Peterson. Once again, you suck dick, you fucking retard. Oh my god, Peterson's playing like a fucking moron, dude. Should have been picked off. Peterson decides to pick, try to pick it off behind the fucking receiver. Instead of stepping in front. You're not going to be able to pick it off when you're standing behind him, you fucktard. God damn it, dude. Rodgers and the Jet offense staying out there. They'll go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he's going to go down. God damn it, dude. What? What a fucking joke. And the try for two is denied. Fucking interception. What a fucking bullshit fucking joke. You fucking faggot, dude. And the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. That's the worst part. He fucking knows. He straight up pass interfered with me. And, like, it should have been called 10 out of 10 times. He's even using the fucking motherfucker, dude. Yeah, this one travels He's even using the fucker. So Absolutely should have been fucking drive. passing appearance. So dumb. What the fuck? Fix your fucking game, Madden, you stupid fucks. God damn it. Such a fucking swing of momentum. Pick it now on first down. God damn it, there's nobody open. Not, not like, by the time I could fucking sneak it through, at least. People I was looking for are fucking all over. Fuck. Oh, that pass interference, boy. I'm glad it's going to be hard to get over. Dude, really pick it? You can't get a fucking stream ball off, you fucking moron? Jesus. Jesus Christ, I can't do anything, dude. This game just took a shit on me. Nice, nice, nice throw. Nice throw. Great play. He baited me right into that. I don't think it was fucking so easy, especially covering that one. Back -back in the NFL, of God, it's crazy how, like, one fucking bullshit play can just swing the momentum so fucking hard. So fucking hard. On play action. Rogers. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that look at Aaron so Rodgers just throwing play. the fucking angel pass. Little angel fucking dart. Across the field, absolute perfection. And Rodgers, who's not even in in real life. Throwing is Rodgers. Where are you gonna throw it now? Yeah, yeah. You see your little Wilson fucker get fucking knocked down. Fuck you. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack, they come up on a second and very long. Here's Rodgers. Thank you, bitch. Oh, Fuck you. Let's go, JPJ. Go. Go. There we go, bitch. Fuck you. Still gonna win this game. Still gonna fucking win this game. I'll find a way. Potentially a turning point here this third quarter. A two score lead down to one now following the pick six. And that had to be the message at halftime for this defense delivered and accepted. We need to go out there and make something happen. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22.
The New York offense taking over for their next possession. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now, they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complimentary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game. First and ten here. And just yeah. one yard here from the 49. They were running 50. as soon as I saw who the receiver well, buttons were. Second half is better for him than the first half. They gotta find a way to get him going. He was running as soon as I saw who like the receiver options. Ball right on the 50 yard line. Here's the second down and nine. From midfield, here's Rogers. Bitch, fuck you. And Rogers Think you're good, huh? Think you're good, huh? You think you're good, huh? And they will finally stop him, but a great I ain't out. I ain't out. Until the fat lady sings. It ain't fucking over, motherfucker. You got so fucking lucky. A strikeout, a walk, or a home run. But for this quarterback, it's been the two true outcomes here. He's got four touchdown passes, but now a third interception. And it pains you to think that you have to try and tell him to rein it in. But at the same time, you can't just chuck it Bitch, up there and hope. Fuck you. Open man is Johnson. Fuck you. Touchdown Steelers. Deontay Johnson. A 16 yard touchdown. And the Steelers God, are quickly good. here to tie fuck up this the guy. ball game. Boswell good with the extra point. And that will put them on top here in the third. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator. Dumb bitch. Sometimes Fuck you, dude. Right, Taking you out, motherfucker. Right. Out the yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Bitch, fuck you. Throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. On third and long, it's Rodgers. Thank you. Bitch. Fuck you. For the fourth time today. Fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. you learn. Pick six for a Steeler touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. Extra point put through by Boswell, and the lead is up to eight. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Oh my God, really? Dude. really? Still really? Oh, as much luck as this fucking guy gonna get. 
This is unreal. It's been a back and forth game. Unreal. A lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's going. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the ball unreal. is the most, the one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Rodgers will throw it for it. And bitch. now he's going to go down. A big sack, and they're unable to tie it. Boy, it's only a one-score game. Third quarter, mind you, but they're going to go for the onside kick right here. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a yard. Looking to throw. Pickett. Throw left side. Hauled in by Pickens. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Back-to-back <laughs> -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Pickett. Eluding the pressure right. His throw caught right around the six. Bitch, and you. in for the Steelers touchdown. Najee Harris. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Steelers will add to their fourth quarter lead. Boswell for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Yeah, it's like a play offense. Jeez. <laughs> the New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now, bitch. Let's go. Nice go move. Back in his oh, own baby. five-yard line. It's a sack. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just the first, and they're down to two remaining as we step aside here dude. in the fourth quarter. Got too cocky, and you thought you had it. Now that after the sack, it'll be learned. interesting to see what they have planned for okay. second and 23. Working it's from right, the dude. gun, Rodgers. Going for the deep ball. What? Man what? That's caught? <laughs> what is this game, dude? <laughs> what is this? This isn't, this is caught for a first down. Dude, the luck, the luck this guy has had is just unmatched. It is insane. Insane, insane. From the midfield strike, they'll look Sit down, to bitch. Yeah, nice play, dude. Nice play. By Wilson. Good play. Bad he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Now it's Rodgers. Nice. Nice play, dude. 
Yeah, this would take it in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh my god. And the fact that I was almost got incomplete. Jesus give Christ, credit, dude. They took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride Jeez, it out dude. to the end. Jeez, you try, dude. Now Rogers gotta have this one. Chad, man. Jeez, get the fuck out of here. Falls down incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he works free. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 103 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Pickett sets up play action. Fuck me, dude. God, what a shitty throw, Pickett. Fucking way under the line. Right matter, but so under the line. It was a fucking touchdown. I think it throws it over the top. I think it have. But. Just get a sack safety. Sack safety or a pick six right here. This guy can't win anyway. He's down two scores. It's fucking. Jets offense coming up now yeah, to start the next drive. Pass over the middle to fucking the interception was Wilson, a great right, starting yeah. point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. Oh, that should have been picked. The fuck, Zolden? You want to pick that? Run it back to QB? You have to be able to run with guys step for step down field of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Rodgers will try again on second down. This pass yeah, nice play, dude. Wide to home. Good play. And he's able to get this Good play. That'll get you back in it. Line this time. The Jets on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. He's going to let this one go deep. Wow, dude. We cannot pick a ball to save our fucking lives. Uh, like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play. Right. We just can't pick one. But he cannot ever. pull it in. And this I was a little bit of the knock that. on him coming out of college. Sometimes the concentration could wander a bit. This should have been a big play, but somehow he's not able to corral it. That is caught. And again, this no name 16 guy fucking making every fucking play in the world. They get to the line. It's like been his best player. Never even heard of them. Ah, damn. And this one that is incomplete. <laughs> He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter, and find their way open. How? How? I should have picked six. What the fuck? I can assure you setting up a screen Ooh, is much more sure. difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Flush to his right. Get him what? Let's go, baby. But he can't get Fuck rid down, of it. He's taken down. TJ Watt in there to take him down on what will take us to the two minute warning. Here we go. This is fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. That's caught by Wilson. And he is going to have the Jets first down. Give him the first. Oh, what? 
Fuck yourself, game. That was not a first. Bitch, fuck you. I'm gonna ball that fucking loser. That was not a first defense, on the last play. That is such a guys, been a bit better, Charles, the amount of luck this guy had is just unreal. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Unreal. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. That's caught by Johnson. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. That'll be marked as a 27 yard pickup. Look like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. it back to throw he gets it complete to Harris and he is going to have a Steeler first down all smiles on that sideline that should be the one to do it it'll go as a gain of 12 and that should just about wrap this one up and remember this drive started off following the turnover and they've taken no time working their way down the short field a nice connection there and now they're looking at a first and goal well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Second and goal from inside the five. On the jet sweep, this is Johnson. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. But that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. Oh, my God. And this one will not work Fuck. out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Here's first and ten. To throw is Rodgers. And what? Oof. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Logged in the pocket for their quarterback. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. One final try for Rodgers. We've seen this before. And that will be incomplete. Yeah, he's gonna fuck off my field. Actually, it's your field, but get the fuck out of here. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camp, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory.
and get it gone in a blink. We can make a in the safe. He can make a call if he tweet. I can make a ball when I speak. Brother used to hide a hundred hundred. The hash back partner used to bust a couple scams off of Snapchat. Shorty trying to come up on the bands cause of that. We don't give a uncle Sam if you ask that. Where the money in the middle, middle. Boy, I just solved the riddle for this pound cake. Giggles. Now I see fiddle all around me. Little. My head was on a swivel. He was pushing a rim. Ain't it coincidental? He ain't really talking money. Who he talking to? Homie hopping. Need a. They all some. I can charge a band to get a glimpse of what I'm about to do. They be talking to every about what they ought to do. I ain't tripping off of nothing. My name is Topic Discussion. If I give them attention, they all will probably start blushing. So that power and hunt is the only thing that I'm crushing on. Bonafide, still on everything that I stepped on. I can get on. it gone in a blink. We can make a f*** in the sink. He can make a call if he tweet. I can make a ball when I speak. Brother used to hide a hundred hundred. The hash back partner used to bust a couple scams off of Snapchat. Shorty trying to come up on the bands cause of that. We don't give a uncle Sam if you ask that. Where the cash at? They couldn't see me coming with binoculars. Even if they did tell me who the f was stopping us, the ops keep popping up. Cops trying to lock us up. Run us out the picture, but it ain't no Diddy cropping us. Sorry, officer. I'm a hood philosopher. Uh, I guess I'll go for another or not. Point to give and that. Absolutely destroying everybody. They're doing it in the street. Last one's crazy too. That ball is bad by two touchdowns. That one's off. Battle back. Battle back. Let's see if we can get a ninth win in a row. Coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas the and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington right. today. Boy, what a matchup! Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition. Let's go, Austin. Awesome. Let's to do go. Battle here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are go, awesome. underway. Find a land. Find a land. Oh. And up to about oh. the 26 yeah, yard line, yeah. just across yeah. the 25. And they're on the 26 yard line. They'll start to drive to drive with Harris. Is that type of run room. I'm gonna fucking run it. That's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense. I wasn't going to run it initially, but that, that type of gap in the line. So much talk about what do you do to neutralize home field advantage? Well, teams that run the football effectively, they often have a way of neutralizing it in a big way when they have those types of runs. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Yeah. He is out of bounds inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 33. Picking now to throw off the play fake. Steps away. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that's a fall incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some six yards here to get, to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. That's good. Wow. Ahead. Parsons, he's, he's using Parsons, okay. I see, I see, dude, I see. You're cool. You're cool, dude. You're cool. User in person. Right. Oh, 
really. I mean, I probably would do the same thing if I used Cowboys all the time, so I can't really feel upset about it. Oh my god, nice throw, Pickett. Way to throw it, dude. Nice throw, bro. Beautiful. It wasn't like he was completely wide open, too. One weakness on this team. And the offensive line isn't too great either, so Pickett, Pickett's the weakest. Weakest part of the stand for sure. Overall. For a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Damn. Good job, Warren. Good contain though. Warren pushed that way back. He had to go wide angle. Let's see how this guy's offense is. So I'm Prescott and the now. Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 18. He's gonna run a lot with uh yeah, so what's his name? Gonna start yep. with Pollard. Pollard, yep. And he'll power his way up near the yep. He's gonna be running a lot. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit mm -hmm. high. They don't have great That's leverage. That's bad on my part. Oh, come on, dude. That's bad on my part. I should have taken my time more to fits right there. I'm not trying to hit stick. That's stupid. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. Yeah. Uh, I probably should have even clicked off, off, but clicked off. Take out defenders. Know what I hated as a defensive back? But... That exact same thing. <laughs> See those lines coming downfield. That on me. Getting ready to blot out the sun. On play action, Prescott. Thank you. Still Peterson. Defense too good though. Ah, yeah. And the Steelers are going to have great fields this year. This is just shy of midfield. And you can't say enough about our man making the interception right there, Brandon. It's his 12th year in the league. And you told me before the game that he still got it, and he does. What a play that was to come away with the football. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They start ah, near midfield I hesitated. I hesitated too much. As they begin first and ten. Mm -hmm. And he's just down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. He was wide open. I mean, Fitz, Jesus. Uh, Friar Muth is what I meant to say. Friar Muth. Ah, God. It's bad. All right, come on, dude. Come on. I'm, I'm not doing good on my, on my choices right now. Play for the decisions. If I cut that more up middle, I would have got big yards right there. Looking to throw, pick it. Dance into his lap. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And he's going to have another first down yeah. here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In the <coughs> position, first and ten. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And they'll come up second and seven. Off play action, pick it. Dude, pick it. God, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, kills me, man. Kills me. Kill me, baby. Kill me. 
facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. Ah. He's going to be sacked. Why was I looking at this? Too focused on. I was too focused on Najee. Johnson was open over the middle. Missed it again. God. Good. Pickett could hit these open receivers, though. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra the field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. <laughs> Play, dude. What are you doing? Talking shit. Can't can't hear these people. Over, so I don't know what he's saying. But he's probably talking shit. Or the Dallas offense here set to begin the drive, and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know, they're gonna want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're gonna look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, oh, the goal's not, not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you gotta watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll run the end around. This is Cooks. Oh, that was so weird. Was, was Prescott in? Anytime the offense shows what they call shot play or a shot play, I try to get big yards. Sometimes if people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to the game that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a first carry for their fullback. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. And that's a nice gain by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. Here now, second and four. Now Prescott keeps yep. himself upright. Wow, really? Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Taken down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Got to give him points for the attempt. But Back of Prescott even stayed up right there. It was crazy. Two people in the area. It was a crazy Evades animation. A few, but couldn't evade all of them. Third and long for Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And they'll get him down at about the 37. Well short of the first. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Don't for it. Don't for it. I think he's going for it. Hmm. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Now Prescott on fourth down. Thank you. Nice. Take PJ, baby. Another pick six.
So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. We want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. I just want like a worthy opponent, like man, is there anybody good who plays this game anymore? Or is it just all trash? And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. Do again. Do it again. Do it again. Keep giving them to him. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. Ah. That pick in early. Yeah, he if I just threw that pick in, it's coming across my left, but I didn't look. That was like my last read. This one's wide open, though. Running across. Quick slant. As this series began, and they got to stop on play number one. Goal now get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. Oh, God. A shitty throw again. Pick it, man. Pick it just fucking... God, how do you not get the ball in there before? Like, it took so long for him to get that ball. It's a fair move. It's so wrong, dude. It wasn't even a fucking deep pass. It's like a 10-yard pass. Like, why are you throwing it so... It's just so stupid. It should have been an easy completion. Instead, it's a fucking pick because of how Pickett throws it. The he just likes to throw picks. That's why his name's Pickett. I guess. But Charles, I we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but That's enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice uh -huh. a two-minute That was literally almost three, three picks in a row for me today. Each week three plays. Game, a minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together. Almost. Almost. Had a chance. make that walk back to locker room just a little more animated. Second down, Prescott again. Thank you. God. Dude, what was that? Was that even a read? Oh, Miles Kelleher with a pick. Okay. A great pick. Complete return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back. Get the yard. Dude, what are we doing, Daniels? What are we doing, bro? That should have been a walk in TV. He said it's not. Jesus, Daniels. What the fuck is that, dude? They weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Pickett sets up play action out to his left. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Kenny Pickett taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Boswell good with the extra point, And it pushes the lead up to an even 20. I played the Cow this is the third time I played the Cowboys tonight, and I've shut them out every single time. They haven't scored a single point on me. Touchdown. Third time. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. At their own 16-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Off the play fake, Prescott rolling to his left. Oh, you go They're through what and Hayward, you don't fumble. Why are you even calling timeout? How would you call that? Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On third down, it's Prescott. <laughs> oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Oh, God, I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in I this mean, first half, he just kind of holds your breath right every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side this of the poor ball, guy. <laughs> they've got big smiles on their faces. Sometimes I feel mean, I don't know. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween. It's not my fault, though. It's not my fault that I'm so good and these guys are so fucking today. bad. Prescott to throw on four. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And boy, possession here turns over with the football geez. already being in the red That's close. Zone. That's close. To the air on first down with Pickett. Being chased out left. Yeah. Ready. He'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they pick. I mean, there probably was somebody open. I, just probably, I probably missed it, but whatever. GG's. It's over. forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Here's second and seven. Here's Pickett. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A good job to... Probably go for 10. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Miami Dolphins. On to get us started now, the kicker Chris Boswell. And we are underway from Miami. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. 
And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here's A Chan to start what? the drive. Okay. And he'll have this past the 30 oh. prior to going out of bounds. Oh, yeah. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. A perfect example right there, Charles, of why they love this rookie runner. And think about how the NFL and the college games are meshing together more and more. You don't have to go to the NFL and learn a new set of skills. What you did in college often makes you ready for the NFL. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And the slot man goes in motion left. On first down, back to Achan. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. A nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Here comes third and about a foot. They'll try and run here with Moster. Oh and he's taken what? down at the 43. But not the one picking up the first. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break up the bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. On play action, here's Tua, and the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Alex Highsmith from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18, and he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The seventh play now in this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Thank you. Well, he tries to force you, it in, and it's Thanks. intercepted. It's the ex Dolphin, Mika Fitzpatrick. And the return this time will go out to the 42 yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. He's got this to Pickens. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. A 
first carry for Najee Harris. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. And score that one for one of the league's best. Jalen Ramsey getting the tackle for loss. Off the play fake. Here's Pickett. Ah, no to tackle, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. They'll look to throw here. Here's Johnson with a reception. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They run for it with Harris. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Oh, they run it. again oh, with Harris. Man, so lucky. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now a 7-0 game. <laughs> Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Berrios now from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Dolphins take over first and 10. They're on 13-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch. And it picked up really nice yardage. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Two and now on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So illegal touching, Charles. If you set foot out of bounds as a receiver, you can't be the first to touch it. You nailed it on that one. You've got to be mindful of the sideline. Tua wants to throw it on second down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. 
like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. 21G, 21G. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. It's the extra from Mika Fitzpatrick. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Pickett steps away to his left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now a give running left is Harris. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Pick it now on first down. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Oh, design run for their wide out. Oh, fry me. Oh, are you, what the fuck are you looking at, you retard? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half, but here toward the end, they're trying to change that in one fell swoop. But that winds up incomplete. Strain. Take six of it. Tua, a final shot before half. Oh, what the fuck? This will be caught. It's Waddle. Yeah, I didn't take that. Down, but before they work yeah. it across midfield. And that'll do it for.
before the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaunt. 10-0 is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Complete. It's Johnson. Yeah, and Johnson going to have a Steelers first down. Walker, right? so get this up close to the 30-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. They hand this off to Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. That's caught inside the 20. And into the Jesus, end zone. Is. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Friar Mew, 57 yards. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three score lead. Well, they had gone run the previous play. Nice little setup. This time they go play action. Defense bites a bit, and they hit for a big play in the end zone. So they sold it really well, didn't they? Because of just what you described, they ran it the previous play, come back with the same action, and now they row. step back and throw it and get a big play for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear a coach talk about, are your eyes in the right spot? Well, this time the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving, and he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and 10. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. And now they're in the hurry up. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. Another pick. Thank you. Oh, it should have been. And that is incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. They're going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. But when the running game's not working sometimes, you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. Let's go. 
Now Tua. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up fourth down. No sign of Tua departing. Fourth down. They're going for it. Tua on fourth down. That's and they completed. hit him as he throws. As this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. Pickett's throw complete to Fryer Mew. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. First down, Steelers. Pickett back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got it. Touchdown. Najee Harris. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone, loose. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Ready. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area, and it winds up incomplete. Two and a try again on second down. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tua sets up to pass it. Ball oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. And able to catch it, but he 
It's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. And that makes him now 0 for 3 on fourth down attempts. A lot of people would say... Fucking down. So out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's another game too that's not showing. Out of eight games, aside from this one, I lit up three points. Aside from the one game that's the Jets and Aaron Rodgers. Giving up three points. If you gonna build, I'm Bobby. If not, then chuck a dude. You throw it off the bye, bye, bye. Man, I don't die time. Talk about the bye, bye, bye. All that I got time. Hey, got the goose. Back with me. Don't come through. The bad energy. Some points, my little listener. There it is, but it's not. It hasn't counted it though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, should have ten ones in a row. Now it's fucking nine. Hmm. It's weird that it's not showing it. 